Well, hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to another Bible story time with Miss Susan and Skitter. We're so happy you're here today. Well, we're going to get started doing our verses, and we have a brand new verse today. It's found in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 13, verse 4. I'll say it first, and then you join me. Here I go. <clears throat> 1 Corinthians 13, 4. Love is patient. Love is kind. All right, boys and girls, it's your turn. One, two, three. First Corinthians 13, 4. Love is patient. Love is kind. Great job saying our new verse. Now let's say our verse that's in the book of Second Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. I'll say it first and then you join me. Here I go. 2 Timothy 1, 7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. All right, boys and girls, join me. One, two, three. Second Timothy 1, 7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Great job! All right, I'll be back at the end of our time and we'll do our verses again. Until then, so long! Woof, 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 woof. Woof, 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 woof. Woof, 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 woof. Oh, hi, buddy. Woof, 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 woof. Hey, buddy. We can't understand you. You're speaking in Barkish again. We only understand English. Woof, woof. Sorry. I forgot. I'm so excited. Buddy, what are you excited about? I get to go in the car. The car, the car. I love going in the car. Woof, woof, woof. Oh, that sounds fun. Where do you get to go? Oh, I don't know, but it really doesn't matter, Ellie. I just love riding in the car. It's super duper fun. Oh, I see. Well, when do you get to go? Oh, woof. Not until tomorrow. I can't wait, but I have to wait. I hate waiting. Oh, buddy, why do you have to wait until tomorrow? Because my grandma wants to come with us, but she has to go to the dog groomer today to get her fur done. So we have to wait. I hate waiting. Oh, buddy, I know it's hard to wait patiently, but you always have fun when you spend time with your grandma, don't you? Woof, woof. Yeah, she's great. She's kind to me and everyone else. And I know she loves me and I love her too. I just don't want to wait. I want to go in the car now. Hmm. Well, what does your grandma do to show you love, um, buddy? Well, she waits for me after school so we can walk home together. She helps me with my homework and she tells me funny stories. Woo, well, that sounds like a great way to show love. Hey, buddy, which of those things can you do to show love to your grandma? Well, my grandma, she doesn't have homework from school, but sometimes I help her clean her house. Oh, that's great. Yep, and she likes me to tell her stories about funny things that happen with my friends. That's good too, but I wonder if there's something else. Hey boys and girls, what do you think Buddy is forgetting? Is there a way Buddy could show love to his grandma? Maybe it has to do with uh, why he's Waiting, maybe it has to do with the car ride. Woof, 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 I know, I know. 
patiently and that's a good way to show love for my grandma. That's exactly right. I can show love by being patient. But, but Ellie, boys and girls, can I still be excited? Can I? Can I? Oh, buddy, of course you can. That's the best when we're excited, but still being patient. Woof, woof, woof. I get to go on a car ride tomorrow with my grandma. It's gonna be so much fun. That's right, buddy. Great job. Hey, boys and girls, I gotta go. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I gotta go too. Woof, woof, woof. Bye. Hi, boys and girls. I'm so glad you decided to join uh, Miss Susan Skitter and our other puppet friends today for our Bible story. Well, our Bible story today is found in the book of Ruth, chapters 1 through 4. And it's Ruth loves Naomi or Ruth is faithful. Both of those are great titles for our story today. Well, Ruth and Naomi were alone. They had no food. They had no money to buy food. Sounds like they were in trouble, doesn't it? So Ruth and Naomi walked and walked. They came to Bethlehem. It was Naomi's hometown at that time. At that time, in Bethlehem, the barley was ripe. Ruth went to a barley field. She walked after the harvest workers. She picked up the barley that they left behind. She took it home to share with Naomi. Now they had food. Ruth was so glad to help Naomi. Someone had noticed Ruth working. His name was Boaz. He owned the field where Ruth worked. He saw how kind Ruth was. He gave Ruth extra barley. He said, please stay in my field. Drink water from my water jugs. Boaz helped Ruth and Naomi. He helped Naomi get her land back that she had lost. Then Boaz and Ruth got married. Then they had a baby. His name was Obed. Naomi and Ruth were very happy. Now. Ruth and Boaz's baby Obed grew up and when he was a man and got married he had a son named Jesse. Now when Jesse grew up and got married he had a son named David. Now David soon after he grew up he became the king of Israel. So that is so exciting to see how God worked in Ruth's life because Ruth was kind and patient and she helped Naomi. Then Boaz noticed her and they got married and pretty soon one of their descendants, that's like, you know, their great, great, great grandson became king of Israel. And something even more exciting, boys and girls, is the descendants, remember that's the children and the children of the children of the children. It goes all the way down, but David, Jesus was one of the descendants of David. That means that Jesus, when he came to earth and was born on Christmas Day to Mary, Jesus was a descendant of Ruth and Boaz. Isn't that exciting to see how God uses um, young women and young men and, and even children to fulfill His plan of salvation. And what a blessing for Ruth to be part of that. This is just so exciting to me to, to understand all of that. And as you grow, you'll understand it more and more. But um, today, I want us to remember how kind and patient Ruth was. So, such a kind-hearted person. And she did that because she obeyed God and she loved God. 
Boys and girls, before we go today, I want to say a prayer of blessing over you and your families. So remember, we close our eyes and bow our heads so that we don't like get distracted about all the things that are going on around us so we can just focus on God and we can fold our hands or we can do what in Psalms said, lift your hands to the Lord. Either one pleases God so much. So let's pray. Dear God, thank you for these boys and girls and their families. Thank you that from Ruth we can learn to be patient and kind and be helpful. God, I just pray for your blessing to be on these children and their families, that you would protect them, keep them in your care. Lord, I pray that they would understand how much you love them and that they would love you too. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, boys and girls, until next time, remember Miss Susan loves you with my whole heart. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. All right, welcome back, boys and girls. Thank you, Miss Susan, for that wonderful story about Ruth and how she showed love to Naomi by being patient and kind, just like our new verse. So I'm going to say our new verse first, and then you join me. 1 Corinthians 13, 4. Love is patient. Love is kind. All right, it's your turn. One, two, three. First Corinthians 13, 4. Love is patient. Love is kind. Great job, boys and girls. You're learning it already. Now we'll do our other verse. Second Timothy 1, 7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. All right, join me this time. One, two, three, Second Timothy 1, 7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. Great job, boys and girls. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you for saying our verses. And you know, I've just been thinking about these verses. And is it always easy to show love to people? No. How about being patient and kind? Is that easy all the time? No. But God helps us. We don't have to do it on our own. When we feel like being unkind or like not being patient, we can stop and pray for God to help us be kind and be patient. And He will. It's so great to have God in our hearts helping us. All right, boys and girls. I want you to remember, Skitter loves you very, very much, but Jesus loves you most. Until next week, bye-bye.